Cameron Miller, age 15, Los Alamitos High School. This is my story. I've been going to SCG about as long as I can remember, basically. I was actually here when it was Grace. So I went to this Grace Christian school, you know, around here. And it was pretty fun. I learned that Jesus was cool. But they didn't really teach you the deep stuff back then, like, clearly. Like, you know, God had a little, Jesus was good, he had a halo, whatever, you know. I stopped going to church after sixth, sixth grade because um, I was actually a little chunkier back then, a little double chin action going on. And I I started water polo. I started swim, that was on the off days of church, and I started water polo back when I was in seventh grade. And it conflicted with my church schedules because they just moved the junior high services to Wednesday, and I had water polo practice Monday and Wednesday. So I couldn't really go to that because my dad's like, gotta be committed, and I'm pretty sure he didn't want to see a tubby son. So I moved back, and actually I went to a Saturday service because I took a whole like year off from seventh grade, and it was I was like the beginning of eighth grade year, and I see this new guy, this big skinny looking guy, no beard, long hair, looks like he's fresh out of college, and he comes up, hey bro, what's up? Where do you go to school? Um. Oak Middle School, uh, what grade are you in? I'm in eighth grade. I was sitting there alone in my low style water polo t-shirt thinking I was weird. And then this guy is like full of energy and I see him and I'll, he's like, hey, how come you don't come to the weekly services? I'll, well, I have water polo and it kind of conflicts because I have water polo on Wednesday. And he says, oh, totally. We're moving it back to Tuesday now. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is sweet. Then like, this guy's pretty cool. I'm sitting next to him during the service a little bit. Like at the announcements. Then he walks up on stage. Hey, I'm Cody Surratt, if you don't know me. I'm he was he actually was taking over. And so I knew it would be good from there. He was really awesome the first time I met him. I got really into the services. He put me in student leadership and it was pretty fun. Uh, I thought I was all cool and I thought I was a Christian guy. Like just because I had that churchy rep, I go to church like twice a week. I'm Mr. Big Boss. And I was, no, I wasn't. It was then, I, I was one of those guys, like, he goes to church that day. He takes it in for the day. He leaves school. What up, ladies? I'm not really a church guy. I'm Mr. Lucy Goosey. Uh, after summer, Cody was, like, trying to hook me up with this Hume Lake Christian Cape deal. And I was all, uh, I don't know if I can do that. It's a lot of money, and I kind of just was kind of, thumbs down on the church camp just because I thought it'd be lame you know a bunch of weirdo Christian kids gathering around and all my friends were going then I decided I wanted to go but it was three days before and I was in Mammoth that week I was like oh bummer I cannot go and so I get a call from Cody and Chad and they're all like hey Cameron um I can hook you up with Hume Lake for you can pay me back whenever and I was like uh that sounds sweet. Let me ask my parents. They were pretty understanding about it, and they let me go. Oh my goodness. I'll debate with you forever. Hume Lake was the best week of my life. So Chris Brown, the pastor. First day, he we get the intro and everything, and he starts out like with this service, and he says it's like a movie. He's, he's talking like a movie. I thought you said this was a love story, honey. It is a love story. I love this story. And then he'd be like talking about how God walked. But he'd say it like he was in a movie theater with his wife. And how God, God's word was like a movie. And he like totally put us in check. He was all like, well, you know what? If you're not willing to stand up in front of a room of people, then you're not really there for God. And that was total like a flick in the head. I was like, come on. I've been doing all this stuff in my life, and I say I'm a Christian, I'm lying. But I've learned that like being a Christian is so much more than just going to church. It's about acting on it. And so I've been getting plugged into live groups. Like I talk to those guys all the time now. I spend all my time with them. We do sports together, we hang out on the weekends. I'm with a total group of friends because I've realized if you don't want to get into bad stuff, then you have to surround yourself with good people because Really, I think those decisions you make are based on the people you are surrounded by. 